Hey everybody, how's it going? Travel Man Dan here, and welcome to this week's episode of Food Friday. Today is going to be exciting, because we're bringing back another episode of Cereal Madness! Ah! Really excited about this. We're going to have some delicious cereal, so sit back, relax, and let's go. Food Friday, Food Friday, Food Friday, Food Friday, Food Friday, yeah! Give me something good to eat. We are feasting. All right, welcome to the show. Thanks. I'm super excited about today's episode for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you take a look behind me and all this gorgeous scenery and you take it in, I'm out here in Lake Arrowhead amongst all the fresh air and all the wonder and beauty of this magnificent mountain town. The other reason being, I'm really excited because I love eating cereal. And we have some delicious new cereals that I never tried. That I'm going to go ahead and review and show you and hopefully get you motivated to go ahead and try them for yourself. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that sub button right there. Ring the bell. Be sure to leave me a like. And if you want, drop something down in the comments below to let me know what you think of this video. All right, it's time to dig in and start chomping away on some delicious cereals. Let me show you what today we're going to be eating. <laughs> I don't know which one to try first. So many delicious new flavors, so many great tastes, so many different collaborations with different companies. You need a couple of basics to get started. And the first thing being is a great spoon. Okay, look at this spoon. Perfect. I love it. It's got a huge little shovel to it. Okay, it's heavy. Got a good handle on it. Looking forward to going ahead and eating with this guy. Then you need a really good bowl. Okay, this bowl is a lot of fun for the video because it's see-through, it's clear. You can see all the delicious little cereal pieces that I'm gonna be pouring in this one. And of course, the number one component, the Barney Rubble, the Robin, okay, the counterpart to the cereal, the absolute must is you gotta have milk. All right, and I have the vitamin D milk because that is the jam, that is the real stuff. I'm not too worried about my weight. <laughs> so let's get started. Let me go ahead and pick one of these cereals. I'll tell you what we're gonna be going ahead and reviewing. I'll get you psyched up about the taste. I'll get you ready to go. And before you know it, when this video ends, you'll be rushing to the supermarket looking for these delicious boxes of cereal. The first one we're gonna try is, well, it's a twist an old classic, a very famous cereal that I've grown up eating since the mid 80s, and that is Corn Pops. But today, Kellogg's brings us the new box of chocolate peanut butter Corn Pops. Holy crap, check that out. And then, one of the things I really love to do is read the back of the cereal box. Although you kids out there probably today are glued onto your iPod or Go ahead and scrolling through your Twitter or your Instagram, your Snappy Chat. Uh uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it old school and read the back of the box. All right, so go ahead and pop this sucker open. Kellogg's always puts out a good product. And let's go ahead and try out this new cereal from Kellogg's the chocolate peanut butter corn pops. <laughs> oh man. It's a little bit of an art to open up the cereal box, unless you're gonna eat it in all one sitting. You want to be able to fold it and close it properly. Ooh, baby, look at that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and smell it away. Ah, it smells so good. Oh, man, you can just smell it. Look at all those delicious kernels, those corn pops, ready to be dumped into my bowl and eaten. Oh, man, here we go. Right away, I can smell a super chocolatey peanut butter flavor. And the aroma coming off of this cereal is one of a kind, man. Oh, man. Really smells delicious. Let's go ahead and add some milk to this guy and go ahead and try it out. Ooh. 
All right, just like my first cereal madness video, I'm gonna go ahead and try out all the cereals and then I'll place them in order which ones I thought were the best. If you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and throw it up there right now. You can check it out. We tried out some delicious cereals, some fun new ones, some collaborations with Hostess. So be sure to check that out. But today, we're getting started with the chocolate peanut butter corn pops from Kellogg's. Okay, here we go. Vitamin D milk out of the chocolate peanut butter corn pops. Fill it up real good. Then, I always like to go ahead, give it a little stir. Give it a little pat down, if you will. Check that out. Oh man, does that look good or what? Now let's go ahead and try this delicious new cereal out from Kellogg's. Mmm. 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 Wow. Wow. First spoonful. You get the very similar flavor of the original corn pop mixed in with a blast of chocolate and then to tie it all together a really nice flavored peanut butter going on there i gotta go right back into it and give it another taste mm. Mm. really good nice thing about corn pops is they're crunchy they're soft they offer a little bit of everything in each little mouthful That is cereal madness. And today, we're eating Kellogg's Corn Pops chocolate peanut butter flavored. Well, it's new to the market. I hope it sticks around for a while because it is delicious. I love that it's got that original Corn Pops flavor, but then when you first taste it, all you get is a nice little blast of chocolate swirled in there with peanut butter. Mm. All right, well, like I said before, we're gonna go old school and read the back of the, the box. Oh my gosh, auditions today, what? They've never seen anything like me. I'll do the talking, I'm the sweet one, but my flavor brings the magic. Chocolate yum yum. This too, people dow thou chocolate. What is this? It's an audition of all the great flavors from Kellogg's. Check this out. They're in the audition room. I'm quite familiar with that feeling, uh, sitting on those chairs, waiting for your chance to go in there and show the casting director that you can do this. Wow, really cool. All right, they got some other stuff going on in the box here. Check it out, nutty but true fun facts. Peanut butter was first introduced at the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904. Hmm, never knew that. The fear of getting peanut butter stuck to the roof of your mouth is called arachabutrophobia. <laughs> what? That can't be true. <laughs> Maybe it is. All right, look at this. They got a tongue twister. Say this five times. Don't talk with your mouth full. Spoon Stan ships six shiny spoons swiftly. Soon 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 Stan ships six shiny spoons swiftly. <sighs> Whoa, not easy. But there you see, kids, put your phone down while you're eating cereal. Go to the back of the box, you'll learn stuff. Really great flavor. Sticking to the authenticity of corn pops and then mixed with just the right amount of peanut butter, right amount of chocolateness. It doesn't get too sugary on the roof of your mouth. You're not overpowered by any one of the flavors and really. What a great job Kellogg's. All right, now you definitely gotta go ahead and taste the milk. To really understand a good cereal, you have to drink the milk afterwards because the cereal might be okay or average, but then when you go ahead and drink the milk, you can go ahead and get a really nice chocolate milk, or strawberry milk, a fruity pebbles kind of flavored milk. Let's go ahead and try out how the corn pops chocolate peanut butter milk tastes. Oh, that's legit. Yeah, that is good. Mm. Really nice. All right, well, now sticking 
with the chocolate theme. Sticking to the cereal madness theme. We're gonna try out something that, man, when I saw this thing, I almost did a backflip right there in the aisle. And I don't know how to backflip. <laughs> or at least it's been a while since I've done a backflip. But guys, I'm talking about something from General Mills, one of the most fantastic looking cereals. Boy, they did a collaboration with Hershey's, and that's what brings us to the next cereal. General Mills presents Hershey Kisses Chocolate Cereal. Look at that. I mean, just look at the bowl. I love the marketing. I love how they have like the bowl being unwrapped by that famous Hershey Kiss silver foil. That is so cool, and well, I'm a big chocolate lover, and I'm really looking forward to trying out this box of cereal. Open this guy up. A little bit easier to open than the last one. Let's go ahead and burst this bag open. Oh, oh man, smells amazing. All right, now here we go. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that. I can smell how chocolatey these suckers are gonna be. Let's take a better look at the shape of one of these. And they are exact replicas, okay? This is not a poo-poo emoji. This is a replica of a Hershey Kiss, okay? Really cool. So each little cereal piece definitely looks exactly like the real Hershey Kiss. Take a look. Let me go ahead and give you a spin around of all that. Kind of looks like, uh, <laughs> dog food but man oh my gosh it is super smelly of chocolatey goodness you gotta come in come here take a better look at this the spoon is ready got our milk let's do the pouring Oh, man, it's like when I poured the milk on it, it kind of, well, activated some more chocolatey sweet smell. As you can see, I'm out here at Lake Arrowhead in the super fresh, clean air, and you just get a waft of that delicious chocolate smell. You're gonna hear all kinds of stuff going on. You got woodpeckers, you got all kinds of hawks and birds and weird things running around, critters and stuff. Really epic morning for this video, I gotta say. And what would make it better? A delicious, super chocolatey cereal from General Mills and a collaboration with Hershey Kisses. And that's what we're having. Look at that, okay? Looks like a bunch of, uh, well, dog food or uh, <laughs> poop emojis. But let's go ahead and try out the first bite. Oh. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm-hmm. Yeah, rock and roll, baby. Man. Wow, that first bite into this cereal is incredible. I mean, it tastes exactly like a Hershey Kiss. It's got an overwhelming, super powerful chocolate taste. So if you're a chocolate lover like me, you are definitely going to love this cereal. I'm going right back in for another bite. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Really fantastic cereal. Consider yourself lucky if you can go ahead and try this Hershey Kiss cereal because they've done a great job. Thank you for joining me on today's episode of Food Friday cereal madness part two we are crushing it out here we are enjoying ourselves and we are feasting mm. now the biggest comparison of this cereal that i could make would be cocoa puffs times two right it's still got that kind of underlying corn taste when you eat cereal, but then it's got a really strong chocolate taste. The chocolate is absolutely delicious, right in tune with Hershey's, a little bit stronger than Cocoa Puffs. You can taste the chocolate way more. <laughs> if that was even possible, they've done it. They have done it. 
Not the most exciting back of the box. They went for the total marketing. Let me just tell you a little bit about this cereal and we'll go ahead and put a beautiful picture of it right there like my bowl in milk with a juicy big spoon. And they got a little slogan together at last, a cereal inspired by your favorite chocolate treat. Ready to unite with milk to create the perfect tasting cereal. And um, yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta be honest with you, they're pretty damn close. Not a super fun box like last one where you uh, you can post up and read it and add fun facts, but a uh, great slogan, great picture, and overall what matters most is a great cereal, and I think they've done this with this kind. Mm. Well, it's really nice. We let it get a little soggy in the milk. Oh, wow. Really good. Now, let me show you the milk because this is something to see. Now, look at that. That is some beautiful chocolate milk. And we're going to go ahead and drink this milk. And uh, I'm really excited about this one because the cereal was so good. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be much better when you go ahead and slurp down this chocolate milk. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mmm, I feel like I just drank, you know, remember in grade school, those little cartons of chocolate milk? Uh, man, that's what this tastes like. It is so good, so delicious, and really, if you get a chance to get to the store, I'm going to say go ahead and try out General Mills' Hershey Kiss collaboration here because this is a great cereal. Okay, we got through the General Mills Hershey Kisses cereal. It was on point, really good. We got through the Kellogg's Chocolate Peanut Butter Corn Pops, and that was fantastic. Now it's time to flip the script and go for an entirely different flavor. And this one I'm really excited about. It's also from General Mills. It's a collaboration. It looks like it's gonna be delicious. It's just the type of cereals that I like to eat. Let me introduce to you Tricks with Marshmallows, and is a collaboration with the Trolls World Tour. Wow, check that out. Look at this box of cereal. You got the trolls with their crazy funky hair and their wild, vibrant colors, and it's tricks. And each little uh, piece of tricks has got multi flavors going on, and it's tricks with marshmallows. How crazy is that? <laughs> Without wasting any more time, let's pull up the bowl. Drop the spoon, sprinkle the cereal, and pour the milk, and let's try out this delicious Trix with marshmallows. I'm really excited to try this one. Love Trix, love that fruity flavor. All right, go ahead, break it open. Oh, oh man, wow. Super smelly goodness of all kinds of delicious fruits. And let's go ahead and pour this into our bowl. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's good. I can just smell it. Wow. All right, take a look at the tricks with marshmallows. Look at this thing. It looks like a giant bowl of gumballs. Kind of looks like uh, gravel in an aquarium bowl. It's super colorful. We have a uh, each piece of tricks it's got two little flavors and i believe that's like a strawberry and a banana flavor look at this piece of tricks kind of looks like the travel man dan globe the little mini globe let's go ahead and try it <laughs> mm. ah see it doesn't have the magic like the globe all right and then we got all kinds of beautifully colored purple strawberry marshmallows inside of tricks how crazy is that? And look at it. the marshmallows are the shape of the troll's hair. How cool. One thing I um, noticed about it is, well, cereals have changed a little bit over the years. They caught a lot of heat in the 2000s about not being good for you, if you know what I mean, but pay no attention to that. When I look at this, I can see each little tricks ball is much smaller than the original. Well, maybe they have a different way of making them. Uh, the flavor is condensed, if you will. Uh, I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and dump some milk on this thing and get started. Mm. All right, we'll do 
the old swirl, the pat down. We're gonna go ahead and try out the tricks with marshmallows. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah! Awesome! All right. The original Trix flavor is coming off right away. As soon as you bite into it, you can taste all those different lemons and grapes and cherry flavors going on in there. And then when you bite into the marshmallow, it gives it that nice, well, Lucky Charms kind of taste. Really good, man. Gotta go in for another bite. Mmm. Oh man, it is awesome. Each little spoonful carries a power packed punch of flavor. Mm. The smaller little piece of tricks doesn't seem to be an issue. Look at that. That is amazing right there. That little one little spoonful looks like a pack of crayons going in your mouth. And it's got the flavor of just so many delicious fruits and that marshmallow texture crunching through each little bite. Mm -mm -mm. Man, General Mills, you've done it again. Actually, some cereals are a little better tasting when they're really soggy, and I think this is one of them. Yeah, something about all the little marshmallow pieces bathing in the milk a little bit longer really soften things up and make that spoonful even better mm. general mills didn't put out the best back of the box when it came to the hershey kisses let's look at this tricks with marshmallow trolls world tour box and oh, <laughs> this is really cool this is uh, like an interactive thing where you can make oh this is so cool where you can make a little guitar out of the box as we take a look you can cut out this little area right here and it kind of forms the inside of a guitar. Well, you can jam along just like this guy. And this is a really cool, really neat and creative way to make the back of the box of cereal an interactive thing for kids. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and cut it out. I can't play guitar anyway, but it's just really cool that they did have this. And uh, fun stuff. You got the Trix Rabbit. He's even got the troll hair. Check it out. <laughs> really sweet kind of great way to market the two of these amazing things going in together all right these little trolls up front really great box they're surfing in on a bunch of marshmallows and really fun cereal well this one's probably going to taste a lot like strawberry milk that's my initial guess but let's go ahead and try it mm, not bad not bad as weird as this sounds, I taste the most prominent flavor is the lime. So it's like lime milk. And I know that sounds really weird and gross, right? You wouldn't drink lime milk, would you? But um, it's really actually not bad. Hmm. Ah, man. Delicious all the way through. Absolutely love this cereal. This is General Mills' Tricks with Marshmallows. This All of these cereals were great. And I probably, most definitely, will try them again later. But for this particular episode and this video, I'm going to go ahead and rank them. One, two, and three, what I thought was the best. And now, what I rank them on is flavor. Obviously, the taste is very important. Um, presentation, okay, what it looked like in the box, what each little piece of cereal looked like. And then lastly, just the overall enjoyment of what I thought had the best flavor. I got to go ahead and give you what I thought was my one, two, and three. So starting off at number three really delicious kind of a different flavor kind of a new thing that they're introducing but it's an old classic and it's definitely something that i ate a lot of bowls of as a kid so i'm talking about number three coming in will be the tricks with marshmallows really nice flavor overall i really liked all the different uh flavors of fruits and the way that they kept the authenticity back to the original flavor thought that was great the box, like I said before, just an incredible collaboration with Trolls. Each piece of cereal was just really well presented as all the different colors were really neat to look at. And the shapes were awesome too. Alright, my number two of this episode 
This was a tough one. I gotta be honest with you. This one was really tough. I was really conflicted thinking this one over, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say my number two of this video is another delicious, well, traditional American food. And I'm talking about the Hershey Kiss and what they've done over at General Mills. The Hershey Kisses cereal is just an amazing overall cereal with a super powerful chocolate palette going on. Um, each little piece kind of looks like an exact replica of an actual Hershey Kiss. And I love the collaboration they did with this. Um, the box, well, it's not overwhelming, but I love the color scheme. I love this little packaging that they did where it's like the foil and then even the silver box. When you see it in the aisle, you're like, what, 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 what is that one? Okay, it's, it's, it's much different, right? You, you definitely can feel this one is much different, but overall a great cereal. Like I said, it just ranks number two in this particular cereal madness episode. If you get a chance, be sure to try this one out because it is awesome. And that leaves us to the number one cereal on this episode of Food Friday, Cereal Madness 2, okay? And that is brought to us by Kellogg's. And it's this amazing chocolate peanut butter corn pops. They've taken an American classic cereal like corn pops and they've twisted it around. They've made their own kind of uh, collaboration where they've dumped it all in chocolate and all kinds of delicious peanut butter swirls and everything from, well, the box obviously has these amazing Amazing comics and all these fun facts and then when you pour the cereal the cereal is what I'm after the most it's a fantastic flavor of just super chocolatey perfect mix with peanut butter and just that crunchiness that perfect texture of a corn pop really delicious love this product would definitely suggest you trying it out um, yeah, it is, it is really good on this episode of cereal madness it ranks number one so Shouts out to you, chocolate peanut butter corn pops. You did it, man. You did it. And uh, I think after this video, I'm going to belly back on up to this table and have myself a second bowl. Oh, man. Even the milk on this box of cereal was amazing. After you're done eating all the little crunchy pieces of delicious chocolate and peanut butter, it leaves this really nice flavored milk. And... Uh, I'm real, I, I gotta be honest, I'm really proud of Kellogg's for coming through because a lot of times people don't wanna mess. They don't wanna tweak their classic flavors. And well, as you see, we had in General Mills also did it with the tricks by adding marshmallows. It was a great stab. It's always a, a shot in the dark when you're dealing with people and their taste buds and both of them really hit a home run. So I'm really happy to do this. And um, once again, these were the three cereals in order. We will go in order with Three being the tricks, okay. Two, the Hershey Kisses, and the Chocolate Peanut Butter Pops for number one. But really, all three of these cereals were absolutely delicious. Well, that's gonna do it for us today on this episode of Food Friday. I hope you had a great time. If you like what I'm doing and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that sub button right there, ring the bell, give me a like on this video, Put down in the comments what you liked about it or if you've tried these cereals or best if you could suggest a delicious cereal for one of my upcoming cereal madness videos i'd love to hear from you we had a great time out here today in lake arrowhead filming this delicious episode i hope you saw something cool and interesting i hope you learned something fun and exciting about all these new cereals like well the chocolate peanut butter corn pops and how they've twisted an american classic cereal into something new and how tricks went another direction and they added marshmallows and paired up with trolls fantastic job on all these cereals but most of all i hope you were inspired to go to the grocery store seek out these delicious cereals yourself and try them out you're gonna love it thanks again for watching I'm Travel Man Dan, and remember, it's a big world out there. Make sure you see every bit of it 